Hello everyone and welcome on De Papier de Rêve channel. I'm Ursula and today I will be painting with you some uh, seed bags from uh, a poppy. This part of uh, the flower uh, surely has a specific name but I don't know it. Uh, it's just the, the capsule of uh, Uh, which contains all the seed from uh, the poppy uh, that I want to paint today. And for this painting I want to uh, focus my work on uh, the emotion and the feelings uh, in this painting. I want uh, a very uh, gloomy uh, atmosphere in this painting. Uh, I do not want to make uh, some uh, very details and realistic uh, painting from uh, these uh, bags of seeds. Uh, I just want to work with all the color I have uh, in order to get uh, a feel for fall and for Uh, the flower making seed and dying, uh, but uh, preparing the next uh, season. And in order to work this atmosphere, uh, I will work uh, a lot with uh, all the colors I'm using today. I'm still working with the uh, Isaro uh, colors that are uh, from a Belgian brand. Uh, they are really nice and the choice of color I've bought is really perfect for this, uh, this painting. And I'm still testing them and learning how they behave together. Uh, and in this painting, I wanted to uh, work a little bit more with Prussian blue and Perilene red in order to see uh, what colors they can make together. Uh, a blue and a red should make a violet, but as uh, this is a cold blue and uh, the perilene red is a little bit more of an earthy red, uh, I get more of a neutral violet, uh, which is very interesting. For my first layer, I'm uh, just uh, working on the background uh, in order to uh, put some colors on my paper and uh, give it a first feeling of my painting. So I'm working with, uh, as I said, the mix of uh, Prussian blue and pale and red. And at the center, I'm adding a little bit of uh, uh, Indian yellow in order to warm it uh, a little bit uh, in the center and give it some sort of light uh, from the center of the painting. And for now, there is no indication whatsoever from my subject. Uh, I'm not painting it right now. I just want to work uh, the background and I'm making some uh, lines with my brush. Everything is wet, so uh, they will not stay like that as they will diffuse a little bit. Uh, but I, I want just something very soft and with the right colors at the right place. And once this first layer has totally dried, you can see that all my colors are a little bit uh, lighter than uh, when I first put them on the paper. But that's okay, I will work them uh, a little bit more uh, in uh, another layer, so uh, it's not uh, a lot of uh, problem here. So I'm starting to uh, draw uh, the bag of seeds on my paper uh, from, from the poppies. Uh, I like these shapes a lot because I think it's a very interesting shape uh, and it's uh, really nice to see them in the garden uh, because they are nothing like them, uh, so they are pretty unique. And for the colors of the, these bags of seed, I'm still working with uh, the mix of Prussian blue and perilene red. And I try to uh, get it uh, quite dark and uh, still very neutral, not too bluey, not too red, uh, in order to, uh, for them to uh, pop a little bit from the background. In order to get uh, these uh, bags of flour uh, not too defined and not too realistic, uh, I'm blurring some areas uh, of my drawing uh, so that there is uh, hard edges and soft edges uh, and this contrast between those two uh, gave a little bit more uh, depth, an idea of something flowing and something moving on my paper and it's a little bit more magical than a really realistic drawing. 
and I'm still working with just Perilene Red and uh, Prussian Blue. Uh, these two colors are really great for uh, my painting right now uh, because the mix between them two uh, gave a very moody color that is perfect for fall. It's a li little bit sad, a little bit uh, gloomy and I like that a lot. At the end of this second layer, I'm not very happy with my work right now uh, because I think it's too light. It's there is not enough dark uh, in this painting, uh, but there is still time to change it. So I will let this layer dry totally before adding some more colors and some more depth to it and some more interest. And while this uh, layer is drying, I will talk you through my supplies. For the brushes, I'm using an Escoda Ultimo number 18 and a silver brush black velvet one quarter inch in a dagger shape. For the colors, I'm using Indian yellow, Prussian blue, Perilene red, and a tiny bit of uh, lavender from Daniel Smith. And today my paper is from Canson Heritage in hot pressed. So as I said before, uh, I wasn't too happy uh, with my second layer because I think that uh, there was a, a lack of uh, darker uh, colors into uh, my painting. So I start my third layer with a wash of Prussian blue all over my painting. And I want to keep it really dark at the bottom of my painting, which is the top right now, because I uh, just flip my paper in order for me to be a little bit more easier to work uh, the darker color at the bottom, the top right now. And in this wash of uh, Prussian blue, I'm uh, infusing some uh, more uh, Perilene blue and Prussian blue mixed together in order to have uh, some difference in, uh, in on, of tone in, uh, in the, this layer of colors. Uh, and I like this mix so much uh, that I want to use it a little bit more. Of course, adding uh, this kind of uh, wash on top of an existing uh, painting, it will disrupt the layer underneath uh, because this is watercolor and watercolor often uh, reactivate when you put uh, water on top of it. So the, my first draw of, uh, of uh, the bags uh, of poppy seeds uh, will be uh, really less uh, present. Uh, but that's okay because I want to do something else with them. So as my uh, background is now quite dark, uh, I need uh, some trick uh, to uh, make uh, the bags of poppy seed appear. Uh, so I'm using uh, the, my uh, lavender color from Daniel Smith because it's an opaque color. So it will uh, still uh, show on top of a dark background. And as uh, all, everything is quite wet, uh, the lavender will also diffuse a little bit and make uh, the bags of poppy seed a little bit more fuzzy. And while everything is still wet, I'm also adding a little bit of a uh, mix of Prussian blue and Perilene red into uh, the poppy seeds, uh, just to um, uh, give a first idea of shades uh, in them and uh, have an idea of dimension. And now that uh, this third layer is totally dry, I can add uh, the last details on this uh, painting. And I want to add some uh, fine line around the, uh, the poppy seeds in order to uh, give them a little bit more uh, characteristic and uh, be a little bit more recognizable. Uh, and I just uh, use the same mix as always of uh, Prussian blue and uh, Perilene red, maybe a little bit more Perilene red for, for this uh, stage, uh, just because I want them to be a little bit more warm. But I also pay attention to uh, the quantity of water I'm uh, holding on my brush uh, because I want uh, these uh, colors to be uh, quite dark. So I'm trying to get a lot more pigment on my brush and less water so that uh, I have a very um, milky consistency with my paint and uh, more colors on the paper. For the last uh, details, I want to add some uh, 
greeneries around uh, the poppy seed and for that I'm using the same mix Persian blue with Perilene red but this time a lit little bit more um, Persian blue so that uh, the foliage is uh, more blue and uh, the poppy seeds are a little bit more red. This was quite a difficult uh, painting to, to paint and I was tempting to give an up at some point because I wasn't going where I wanted but I'm quite happy with the choice I make and um, per to pursue uh, in this painting because I like uh, the mood in this one uh, I like the colors and it's a little bit sad but uh, it's, uh, it's okay, it's fall and uh, uh, you have right to be sad on fall and this video is now ending, thanks for watching and I hope you like it. Please check the blog post for more information about it and tell me what you think in the comment. See you soon.